So here we're here with Ben and Hannah. These guys are so awesome. It's been a privilege to work with them. They were on the summit that we did back in January. So Ben and Hannah, what was it that made you decide to jump into a coaching program? We're looking towards trying to be more regenerative and to do that, there obviously has to be a profit in it. So we're trying to develop a business that we can also be proud about that will hopefully last and we can pass it on down to our kids. We have a coach here to help us along to help to keep everything going and help us to see maybe the good and the bad in what we're doing. Hannah, from your perspective, are there any benefits that you've seen by working together? What has been your experience by working with a coach? So far, there's been a lot of mindset change, a lot more communication between Ben and I, just many different things that we probably maybe wouldn't have talked about before. That would have been just like a Ben decision or my decision or whatever. But the biggest thing so far, I think, is my mindset change in many different areas. She laughs at me all the time because I look at her and, I, and say, I can't believe we hired a coach, but it's been a good experience and I'm glad we're doing it and I look forward to it. Has it been uncomfortable from a very independent generational farmer stepping into now having somebody who is helping you discover your vision and your mission and your passions? Where it's went has definitely maybe been different than what I thought it would be, but I've definitely not been uncomfortable at all. And I appreciate it because it's helped me see some of the things that I need to work on. And even some of those things that I knew I needed to work on maybe have advantages, even though they may be bad at, you know, to a certain extent, but maybe channel those bad things into being something good. And that's helped a lot. It's been a privilege to work with you guys and just to see the commitment that you have to your business and to each other and your faith and your commitment to family. I just think it's a good thing all around. And I'm sure it probably depends on if you have a different coach and their attitude, but Jared's been very good and very open to what we want to get out of it. And then he's very good at taking that and helping us move forward and improve things with what we want to do instead of just coming into it with how he's going to fix it for us. It's more he's giving us the tools to fix things and work on things ourselves. Yeah, that's good. That's something that I'd hear too. I'm trying to provide that objective view from several states away, half a country away, literally I've never been on your place. But yet, what are the mindset things that are principle-based that will help anybody in any environment to be successful? And there's no doubt in my mind, as you continue to work, that that, that vision will become a reality. Certainly, it's going to change from what you see right now, but that's okay. So thanks, you guys. Thank you.